So yeah, it's hot. We're here on uh, about 2300 meters altitude. There's a little village where we slept last night and where Joachim said goodbye to the race because he didn't feel he was going to make it with uh, the supplies of food that he brought and um, at least the backup food because you need to buy on the road. So to make the film complete, I think I should have probably gone back with him to Bishkek, but you would only see one shot and that's like I said, Joachim. So I said goodbye here and I'm going down the street uh, to pick up on the original course and I'm going to join the rest of the riders and see what I can film there and uh, what kind of adventures we're gonna see, uh, see. We have, I have about 12 or 13 days left on this trip uh, before we have to go back, get back to Bishkek and the plane is the 3rd of uh, September so I got some time I think so I'm just gonna report <laughs> Joachim and I found a homeboy. <laughs> Good a guy from Amsterdam. How's it going? Okay. I tried to uh, do a bunny hop at 40 kilometers an hour. It didn't really work out, but yeah. Yeah, Amsterdam is flat. You don't get too much. Uh... No, we descended for pretty much the whole day. Yeah, exactly. Right? It was yeah. crazy, right? It was amazing. It was beautiful. Yeah. I saw you filming no hands. <laughs> on the descents passing me, so there should be some good footage. Well, it might have been our last picnic. Last taste of civilization.
I left Joachim. It's about uh, 8 or 8.30 in the morning. This is only the second climb of the, of the race. Um, and tonight I hope to make it to the third climb because there, there is the first uh, checkpoint at the lake. And uh, John Woodroof and his friends are down there uh, somewhere. I, I went ahead. Not sure if I'm going to see them again. Uh, probably at the checkpoint, but I think I'm just going to keep going for a while and see if I can find some others. And look at that, the sun is coming up right now. Or up. The sun is breaking through because I had a little bit of rain coming up here. But nothing that a poncho can solve. Great stuff, you know. I love it. Uh, you should definitely try it, but be prepared. Very well prepared if you do this next year. Crazy. 